Hi, my name is Sally and today I'd like to talk to you about contouring for older faces. I'm going to be using a Look Fabulous Forever's range of makeup which is specifically designed for the older lady. Okay, as we get older we actually produce less collagen, less elastin and our skin becomes a little bit saggier and baggier, not quite as firm as it might have been um, when we were younger. So we don't have such sharp jaw lines. Um, there's also a reduction in the melanin produced and pigmentation. So we often find that our faces lose a little bit of colour. They lose something called the luminance of contrast. Um, so all our features lose a little bit of definition. Sometimes you can, without makeup at all, you can look sort of one colour. Um, you might also get um, sunspots, so pigmentation in different areas. Um, so how can makeup help with this issue? I'm suggesting that there are four products that you can use that really help. One is the creamy concealer, this one. The second one is the instant bright highlight. The third one is the bronze, summer bronze. And the fourth one is one of our blushes. So what is contouring? If you go online and look up contouring, you will be bombarded by videos. Um, lots of young girls use contouring um, in a big way. And, and what contouring does is light colours bring things forwards and dark colours push back. So using a contour powder um, will create a shadow which will push back in certain areas. A highlighter or a light colour will bring things forward. So it can become as complicated as you want it to be. But I wanted to sort of show you how using Look Fabulous's makeup um, that you can make it very simple to use, to, to contour your face and bring out the contrast of luminance that we lose as we get older. So let's first of all talk about concealer. So concealer, I, what I've done so far today is I've put my primers on, I've put my um, foundation on, and I've done most of my eye makeup and I've put some lipstick on. I haven't used concealer, blusher, bronzer, or highlighter. So I'm first of all going to show you where I tend to use concealer. Um, I tend to use concealer really to cover up places where I need a little bit of extra help um, that maybe my foundation or my Light Look Beauty Balm doesn't cover. So I tend to use the concealer number two um, where it's a little bit bluey into my, can you just see in the inside corner of my eye, I put a little bit of concealer here and that will help to stop the blueness. I also use concealer under my eyes where I have got dark circles and I stipple it on with my concealer brush, brush number four. So I tend to use a concealer that is very similar to the foundation or Light Look Beauty Balm. Now, if you are using concealer as a highlighter, which you will see on some videos, then obviously you would then need to use a slightly lighter one. Um, I tend not to use a concealer as a highlighter because we have a fantastic highlighter that does that job much, much more easily. But if you wanted to, you could go for a lighter, say you use the number two concealer, you could use the lighter concealer as a highlighter um, where you might want to bring things forward. Um, I'll just demonstrate on the lips. I might use just a little bit of concealer. Can you see that? Just on the outer edge of my lips. Um, but mostly what I would suggest is you use a concealer as a concealer rather than a highlighter, um, just around the areas that need that little bit of extra help. So if you've got any little sunspots, age spots. It's nice and creamy. The reason I don't like to use lots of concealer all over the face 
as a highlighter is I like to keep my makeup fairly light and I'm finding as you get older you don't want necessarily layers upon layers of makeup um, so I like to use a highlighter that is lighter in texture and I'll come on to that in a moment so the concealer you can use as a highlighter on the face but I tend to use it more literally to cover up areas where there's discoloration um, mainly under the eyes in the corner of my eyes and where I might have sunspots age spots or broken capillaries around my nose it just helps to give that little bit of extra boost to my foundation so that I get a completely kind of clear canvas on which I'm then going to paint the picture so sometimes I put a bit of concealer just where there might be a little bit of redness on my chin so that's concealer now why I don't use it as a true highlighter is because we have the most wonderful product called instant bright highlight so this is a little clicky pen product you just click it And it comes out this gives a light dewy look um, and it's very hard to go wrong with this whereas if you try and use a sort of a concealer thicker concealer as a highlighter you might go a little bit too heavy so this I would put on the areas that I want to bring forward um, so I use it under my eyebrow to highlight just that sort of um, half moon shape. It's a really nice subtle look. So it's not like you're wearing a shimmery white frosty highlighter under your eyebrow, but it does define the eyebrow because it brings the brow bone forward slightly. The other place I absolutely love to use this is just on this area. So the top of my cheekbone and I then just tap it in and when you turn your head it just gives a very slight dewy light finish which will help to create um, contouring because it will bring your cheekbones forward. So really pretty look and so easy to do. The other place I like to put it is I like to put a stripe just down the centre of my nose. So, and then I just blend it. So you can see what that tends to do is just slim the nose slightly because it makes the centre of the nose come forward, which has the appearance of slimming your nose. Um, so I showed you what you could do with concealer on the around the edge of your lips. I actually find this product really easy to use on my Cupid's bow. So again, it brings the Cupid's bow forward, um, which makes your lips look a little bit fuller and a little bit more pouty. So that's another place to put that. Um, I sometimes like to put a little bit of, I have a fringe, so you can't really see this bit too much, but if you don't have a fringe, it's quite nice to highlight this area, just the top middle bit of your forehead, just creates a little bit of light there. Um, I, I quite like to fill in my little frown lines as well with this because light brings forward, so it just softens my frown line slightly. So highlighting the areas that you want to be brought forward with the Instant Bright Highlight. So the confusion, I think, comes with bronzer and blusher and contouring. What, does, what is a contour powder? What is a bronzer? Um, so a bronzer is used normally where you would catch the sun. If you're out in the sun, you would catch the sun um, and it adds a little bit of warmth to the face. Um, now, our bronzer looks quite orange. When you buy it, you'll think, 
no way that's way too orange but it definitely does not come out this this shade it is matte which is really flattering for an older face so actually you can use this bronzer slightly as a contouring powder as well let me first show you how to use it as a traditional bronzer so what i tend to do is take my um, big fat bronzing brush or powder brush number one and just put it where you naturally catch the sun so again it would be on the top of your forehead just here um, so on your hairline a little bit on the sides of the foreheads where you might catch the sun just the top of the cheeks and just a little I like to put a little bit actually here but you know just maybe a tiny bit on the bridge of the nose can make you look just a little bit just gives you you see how light that is it's not coming out orange at all um, so you can just sweep it just to give you some delicate warmth and if I haven't got time to put my eyeshadow on, I'm a great believer in using a little bit of this bronzer just here and here instead of eyeshadow, um, just to give you a little bit of warmth here, and definition. So bronzer where you would normally catch the sun. Now you might have heard me say, put it in a three. So that's another thing you can do with your bronzer. And that's where you're also actually using it slightly as a contour powder. Um, so if you do a little sweep and a three, you're also catching your jawline. So it's creating a bit of shadow here, which means that your jawline looks a little bit sharper. Um, so little th number three is a good way to remember that if you just want a tiny bit of colour. Now if you are cooler I would suggest doing the bronzer after your powder at this stage. If you are warmer I sometimes do the bronzer after my blusher. Um, so I'm just showing you what I would do if I was cooler actually. Other place to put bronzer is here because you very often have a white area here where it doesn't catch the sun and sometimes you look as though you've got a bit of a floating face so I find a bit of bronzer in this area just brings the two together so like this and like that now you might have heard of contour powders now contour powders are always matte and they're always slightly more um slightly not cooler but neutral to cooler they're not orangey um, and a contour powder you would use to create basically shadows so that you look as though your cheekbones are more there. Now, can you achieve that with our bronzer? I would say you can, but very sparingly. It is a matte powder um, and it isn't too orangey. So you could, and I would suggest if you're going to do that, you actually use the foundation brush number three. Now this is, you're not now putting the bronzer here, you are using it literally as a contour powder. So just, I'm just going to create a little bit of shadow. So you can play around with this and see whether it works for your colouring. It may or it may not. It might be that you just want to use it as a traditional bronzer and maybe a little bit on your jawline and here. But if you want to use it as a contour powder, you might want to just sweep it from sort of there to about, it's sort of wider disappearing here to about where you're halfway through your eye. And you can sort of see it creates a little bit of a shadow here. If you're finding it looks too orangey for your skin tone, don't use it in that area, just use it as a, a bronzer in a slightly higher area of your cheeks. So blusher, blusher, blusher. Now, what is the difference between bronzer and blusher? Well, blushers give you more of a rosy glow. Um, 
and they're put in a slightly different place. So I'm going to use my peach cream blush, which I love to use. Now I put that literally just above the apple and this gives you more colour. The bronzer gives you a little bit of warmth, whereas the blusher helps to create that colour that you lose when you're a little bit older. Um, you look a little bit flushed, a little bit healthier. Um, for me, it's an essential item of my makeup. When I put my blusher on, I look so much more healthy. So put that on. And I tend to put it on with my fingers. And I just use the blusher brush just to blend it a little bit. So as we get older, you don't necessarily want to go too orangey with blusher. Even if you are warm toned, it's quite nice to have a hint of pink in your blusher. And that's where if you're warm toned, the peach cream is great because it does still have a little bit of pink in. If you are cool toned, then we have a couple of lovely cool blushes, um, Raspberry Pop and Rosy Glow, which are really lovely pink colours. Um, so lots to choose from. So the bronzer gives you a little bit of warmth and can be used as a slight contour or pack, sort of a shadow to push back. Whereas the blusher gives you some unnatural healthy colour, brings back the, you used to have sort of pinch your cheeks in the old days to make you make them, this is what you're doing really with your blusher. You're creating the look of pinched cheeks and radiant health. So what order do we put everything on? Um, so I tend to use my face prime first, uh, my Smooth Like Silk face prime, eye prime and lip prime. I then do my foundation, um, whether I'm using Continuous Cover or the Light Look Beauty Balm. I then put on my concealer, um, as I showed you sort of around the eye, um, any areas that I need. I would then use my powder, some um, face powder, just to set that. Um, I would then personally do my eyes and then I do my highlighter, which I showed you. I did my highlighter underneath the highest part of my brow. I put it on my cheekbones. You can just see that little bit of highlight there. Um, you can use it on your cupid's bow. Um, and then it's the bronzer and the blusher. Um, if you are warm toned, as I said, I tend to put the blusher on first and then go over it with a little bit of bronzer. That's what I do. If you're cool toned, I would suggest doing a powder, then putting your bronzer on, like I showed you, in a, maybe in a number three shape, just to give you a little bit of warmth, and then doing your cooler blusher on top of that. Um, and then I might, at the end, just put a tiny bit of powder on over the lot, just to, to set it all. So I hope that's helped um, in sort of, explaining about contouring. Contouring is basically changing the slight, making powder shadows pushing in and highlighter bringing forward. And you can, I would suggest you just keep it very, very simple on an older face um, and not think about layering and layering and layering with makeup, but using our lovely products, which are very gentle and very light, just to create that um, contrast luminance of contrast which we lose as we get older thank you so much if you love this video would like to see more content like this then subscribe to my channel